you got to put something else inside your heart. What do you add? Add goodness? Add knowledge? Just to stop right there. There's a whole list of things to add. But let's just talk about adding goodness and adding knowledge. He says, you know, it's great to have a simple childlike faith, but you gotta, you got to know what you believe. you got to give God more of your time, your mind share. How much mind share do you give God? How, who do you share your mind with? Who do you allow into your mind to kind of lure you or woo you? Add to your faith knowledge. That is, we got to understand the guy who wrote the book, his heart, his mind. How many of God's thoughts do you allow to come through your mind? Not just reading your Bible a few minutes a day or whatever. Who really owns your mind share? Who commandeers that? And so if we're going to we're going to be these people that are truly warriors. We've got to make sure that we're not just on the front lines and we're thinking that our mind is somewhere else and boom, we get picked off. Add to your faith knowledge. That is who God is and what He's like and what He wants you to do. Knowledge, knowledge, not hungry to learn more. Now some of you guys are going, dude, I don't want to learn. I hate school. I don't like geometry and algebra and history and all that stuff. Well, I'm talking about, you know, all that stuff's good. you got to learn it, but... Learning and gaining more knowledge of God. You know, there's some people, they have been in church 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and they've never added much to their faith. They've never added much knowledge. They don't know much more than when they first committed their life to Jesus. They just go to church out of a ritual. There's so much. There's so much God wants to teach us if we just get hungry to learn more about God. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to have a PhD or go to seminary or Bible school. You can start learning right now. Now, if God calls you to do those things, that's great. Add to your faith. If you don't add to your faith knowledge, the enemy will add his knowledge. He'll put knowledge in your brain just by the mere fact you exist in this world. Now, for a follower of Christ, this is what's normal. I'm going to add to my faith knowledge. I'm going to learn and learn. Now, if you're going to be just a cultural Christian, call yourself a Christian, go to church and stuff, and you don't really want to be a follower of Christ or warrior, then then you just kind of go to church and let the world program you and share your mind with the world. But if you're going to be a follower of Christ that makes an impact on this world, then what part of your normal lifestyle is going to have to be, you know what? I'm going to add to my faith knowledge. I refuse to let the enemy program me. Even though it might be cool, it might be interesting, it might be catchy, it might be popular, everybody else is watching this thing, but I'm not going to that movie. I'm not watching that music video. I'm not buying that CD. I'm not going to that concert. I don't want the world. I don't care how clever or interesting it might be programming. So how do we project our mind? Let's look at some scriptures. Proverbs chapter 7. It's interesting how the scripture tells us and teaches us how to make sure that we share our mind with God. God, in fact, gives us all kinds of a very practical ways to do this. Proverbs chapter 7. Let's read this all together, okay? Guard my teaching as your most precious possession. Tie them on your fingers as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. So I'll stop right there. Tie them on your fingers. He says, guard these teachings. The stuff I'm teaching you, guard them. Tie them. What does that mean? Write little notes and tie them on your fingers. He says, I don't ever want you to forget. I want you to keep them around you all the time. The, te- the stuff that I'm teaching you, the scripture is saying, Make it so obvious, it is absolutely impossible to forget them. Think, how do I do that? The more you put it in your mind, it goes into your heart. Um, and let's go to, uh, there's another one, De- Deuteronomy chapter 6. Very interesting. Let's read this together. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your heart and press them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as a symbol on your hands and bind them on your forehead. Write them on the door frames of your houses and your gates. So watch this. These are the people that they've seen the miracles. Keep that scripture up there for a second. They've seen these miracles. They've seen the Red Sea part. They've seen all these amazing things happen with Moses and the, and the children of Israel and the Egyptians and all this. And he's going, I know you're going to forget this stuff. And so I want to make sure you don't forget it. And so I, what I want to do is bind them on your hands, like we put it on your forehead. What does that mean? Like inscribe it like on your forehead. I don't know. He says, I want every time you look in the mirror, 
Or when you look in the pool of water to see your reflection, I want you to remember, ooh, I'm God. I'm a child of God. I belong to Him. Um, the door frames of your house is now. And on your gate. He says, write it on your doors, on your wall, around your doors. So every time you walk out, every time you walk in, oh, I belong to God. I'm a child of God. I don't belong to the enemy. I'm not going to believe his lie. Write it on your gate, on the way out of your house, on the way out of your yard. Now, I don't think your parents would get really excited if you start writing graffiti all over the walls of your house. They may not, you may, how many ever drew on the walls when you were a kid and got in trouble for it? So I'm not saying go there again, okay? But what I am saying, scripture's real clear, make it obvious to yourself. Create a world that reminds you of who you are and what you're about. Now, um, we got a couple helps for you here, but there may be other things. It says, it says do what? It says, put, bind it on your forehead. Put it on your forehead. So maybe you find a hat or something with scriptures on it, and every time you look in the mirror, every time someone looks at you, they go, okay, that guy's a soldier. That gal's a soldier. She's a warrior for Christ. There you go. And um, here's, here's another here's one for girls. It stands firm and uh, an unashamed. Um, so this one's for ladies. So, um, oops, it flew the wrong direction. Um, listen, what I'm asking, let's go to another scripture, because it's all over the place. Deuteronomy chapter 11, look at this one. Write them on the door frames of your houses and your gates. We see it again. Write it again. In fact, look at this one, Deuteronomy 27. One time, they just got, they were getting ready to go into the land, and God was so insistent. Watch what he says. When you have crossed the Jordan into the land your Lord your God is giving you, set up some large stones and coat them with plaster. Keep going. Write them on all, write on them all the words of the law when you've crossed over to the land the Lord your God is giving you. He's saying, take these huge stones and write on them. So every time you walk by, oh, there it is again, I'm God. I'm a part of God's family, God's army. I'm a part of the warriors of Christ. And he's saying, everywhere you look, everywhere you go, have a reminder for who you are. The enemy's trying to get into your mind. Think of, remember the scripture Jesus talked about? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind. Loving God with your mind. Saying, Lord, my mind is yours. It's not just my heart, it's my mind. What I put in my mind, I want to please you. I'm not just going to let the enemy scream at me. I don't care how cool it is, how amazing it is, how tempting it is. I'm not going to watch the enemy, let him fill my mind whether with ads and, you know, cultural stuff, or with my past, and teasing me and taunting me and making me feel horrible about my past. And what God said to the old, in the Old Testament with these guys, he goes, listen, I know you're going to forget this. Why? Because you're human beings. So what I want you to do is I want you to surround yourself with stuff that tells you who you are. And so what I'm encouraging you to, you to do this morning is do the same thing. It's create a world for yourself. How about this? Put some stuff on your mirror in your bedroom. Maybe some stickers or some scriptures. You know what God did in your heart. Oh, so every time you look in the mirror, every time you get ready in the morning, man, you've got something to remind you. How about this in your car? If you've got a car, you put scriptures. I'm a warrior for Christ. I can do all things for Christ. Everywhere you go, in your locker, in your bedroom. Why would we surround ourselves with all the paraphernalia of the world, a band or a poster or, a, a, you know, a... a some celebrity or something. If we're really going to be these people that say, I'm a follower of Christ, we got to make sure that we don't give the world our mind. Any percentage of our mind share that is getting less and less and less. Now, um, i got just a few things to give away here. we we got a few things like this to help you, but there, there are a lot of other things you can do. Here's a... Watch this. Look at this. This is a patch. You can sew on, I'm a follower of Christ, devotion, defiance, and courage. Anybody use this patch? I don't, I don't want you to get... Oh, what's this? Oh, this is an iPod cover. That, that talks about I'm a warrior. Anybody have an iPod you want to cover? I got to go up here because, you know, uh, all the people on the floor get everything all the time. I got to go up here because these guys don't get anything usually. Here you go. Ready? Um, and just create a world for yourself where everything... Oh, here's a, here's a wristband. What does it say? The follower of Christ. Any followers over here? The point is, you guys, 
if Jesus, if, if, if the Father was so concerned with these guys in the Old Testament, before there were 30,000 ads a day, he was so concerned that their mind was going to get filled with garbage, he says, write it everywhere. Put it on stones, put it on your walls, put it on your gates, put it on your forehead, put it on your fingers. He's saying, create a world that you remember who you are. Don't you dare make all these commandments to God and then just sit there like this and let the world program you and give all your mind share to the enemy. And this, unfortunately, is where most people who call themselves Christians sit. They're cultural Christians. Oh, they'll turn back around for Sunday. Oh, Jesus, I love you. I do, I do. But the whole rest of their life, they're over here like this. And they wonder why. They feel so cold. They fall, they're far away from God. Their, their life starts falling apart. The enemy pounding them all day long. This morning, the time to make a decision. Create a world for yourself. Maybe stickers around your computer. Book covers. Notebooks. Your mirrors. Your car. Your locker. Your bedroom. Everywhere you go, create a world. Okay, Lord, I want the world that I live in to, to reflect what's in my heart. I'm not going to let the world surround me. It, I, you know, I can't shut it off completely, but I can control my own environment. So I want you to seriously consider this. What will you do? I want you to take one look at this video, and we're going to pray. This video tells of a man who sacrificed, you'll see the sacrifice he made, in order to get you and I the Bible in English. You know, we take our Bible so flippantly, oh, I got a Bible, I got two Bibles, my house, in my house we got lots of Bibles. The Bible, the Word of God is what protects us. That's why the scripture said in Deuteronomy, write these laws down, write these things down, keeping God's Word around you. And there have been so many sacrifices made so you and I can have God's Word and we don't even use it to protect ourselves like we could. So watch this and we'll be right back. <laughs> 